All right, it's that time once again for another Alterac Valley, October the 10th, 2023. Looks like we got 19 Maniacs up in the house. Clam Slam Mid. Okay, you know who the raid lead is for that one, right? <laughs> oh, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. I got to rock it up here, putting the binding shot down, trying to hit as many targets as possible. Few of them got by because I didn't actually do it early enough. Going to see if we can take out Paladin. Is he going to bubble first? Yep, bubble's coming. Nope, no bubble. Okay. We'll take that free kill. Trying to push him back in the team fight. If I remember correctly, this match was really, really long. Something like 45 minutes. Yep. Trying to take out the Warlock. Nope, Dark Pact is up. Looks like they have 38 people on their team. They haven't filled completely, but they're close enough. They have five healers. We have six, I believe. Give me that kill. Still on a kill streak because the add-on was broke at this time, I think. There's no way I was on a 128 kill streak, was there? <laughs> oh, man. Sank my DPS. Okay, then. And that name did not get reported, I guess. <laughs> Finish off the druid. Nope, the wall is put up at the exact wrong time, but the druid still dies. That's okay. Batty Bart on the warrior now. Come on, kill the warrior. Finish him. He's dead. We are going to wipe him here, it looks like. Looks like the Clam Slam mid worked out for a change. Not sure how many of them actually got by and got south. Druid's going to die here. I'll take that killing blow. Paladin bubble is gone. Now we can fight through the Shield of Vengeance and then take out the Paladin. There it is. Robo Crew next. Warrior's the next nameplate I can see. I wish they would change it so you can have a little bit more nameplate visibility. <laughs> Obviously, I still had a bunch of buffs shown right now. I think eventually I start turning them off. That's just too much on the screen at once, man. Yeah, I know. The rest of my UI is pretty cluttered too, but I pretty much use everything that's on there. So I don't know what else I could get rid of and still function at the game. <laughs> you get used to all that stuff, right? Up. Oh. Fat fingered the raid button there by accident. <laughs> We're pushing to Stone Earth Graveyard. CV claims Snowfall for the Horde. Give me that kill on the DK. Keep it going. Eventually, they're going to be up to the graveyard. And I'll take another killing bow. We just need to push them up into the spawn spot of Stone Earth Graveyard. We are obviously winning the team fight. They've gotten four kills. We've gotten 25. Looks like Druid's going to go down again. I didn't get the kill there. We're on a mage next. Red Rage instead of Road Rage. Okay. Birdie's up top. We've seen that hunter before. Watch out for the traps. You don't want to get knocked off the cliff here for sure. There's a Pally AFK over there. They're going to start attacking the AFK Pally. I like it. Birdie might go down. No. Almost. Got to get up there. Got to climb up here. Get up to the flag. And you know what? I shot the sheriff on my hunter here for sure. They had a big res wave maybe? Looks like not a ton, but there are some coming. Finish off the monk over there. Monk's trying to one-shot somebody. Instead gets owned by the kill shot. Robo Crew's going to go down here. Oh, he got knocked off. <laughs> and goes down. Got to get somebody capping the flag now. We got him pushed back pretty good. I'm staying on the healer right now. There's the cap on the graveyard. Now we can wipe him. Looks like somebody got the Frostwolf graveyard. They got a tap on it for 30 seconds now. Healer is down. I'll take that killing bow. Holy Dust next. We are going to wipe him right here. Now that we control Stonehearth graveyard, we can start putting some pressure on Icewing and Stonehearth bunkers. Obviously, you want to burn those two before you really move forward. We got 19 from AVM. Yeah. Got to put out the raid warnings, man. Advertise the team. They had a few south here at Frostwolf. Going to try and wipe them. They might cap it. It's only got 33 seconds to go. Depending on what kind of other people they got here. Do they have any stealth? There's a kill there. Obviously, if there was a stealth here, it'd be probably good for them to stay in stealth until we're getting ready to cap and then interrupt. We just got it back. Man, we just barely got it back, too. <laughs> Snowfall is ours. Stonehearth Graveyard will be ours soon. Give me that kill there. Got the flags all up on you. Stonehearth Graveyard is ours now. Icewing's going to burn first. Okay. We burn Icewing before SHB. I like it. Now we can just fight him here in the choke. 
They had people that went into Ice Wing and failed to reclaim it. Stone Hearth Bunker has another 10 seconds to go. We had some people that actually resurrected at Snowfall before Stone Earth capped fully. I'm falling back after the kill. We got a lot of people that are going to have to regroup right now. Pally's bubbled. Switch targets. Captain Mag is going to go down next. Got him. Give me that kill, man. Shaman is dead, too. And take down the Paladin. We got to get that Hunter up top just snipering people up there. There's somebody attacking. It's using Steady Shot, running out of LOS. DK might go down. Yep. Take down the healer, Charlotte. Yep. Way overextended there. He should have fallen back for sure. Warrior next again. Nope, the Warrior leaps out. Batty Bart's up here again. Doesn't have a trinket for four seconds. Give me that kill. Yep. Now we need to start knocking some of them down the cliff. If I remember correctly, there was a massive turtle here too. Seems like there was an issue with us getting Stormpike Graveyard. <laughs> Which there always is, it seems like, lately. A lot of people don't know really how to push that graveyard. You got to come in from the top. And you got to fight on top of the flag and push into the graveyard spawn location if you actually want to take it. Granted, I guess some people don't care about taking it. They just want to farm kills. But that's not what we're about here at AVM. We're about having fun in Epic PvP. Farming the graveyard is not fun to us. Let's take down this monk. Monk's gonna go down. Yeah. Getting all these kills. This is fun. <laughs> Staying back as a hunter sniping, man. Give me another kill, man. <laughs> I'll take another one. Yeah. Keep them coming, man. Paladin next. Oh, Paladin uses freedom and tries to run away. Got binded shut down. Nice. <laughs> There's Hap. Got to take out Hap now. Hap's down. Those Hunter is still up there on Ice Wing, man, even though it's burnt. <laughs> Just sitting there and wailing away. I don't think anybody wants to fight up there just because he can just back up out of LOS. We need a Death Knight just to grip him down. That would be the best case scenario. Take down Super Murrow. Come on. Got him. Nope. They did die. I didn't get the kill though. Oh, AoE Bolts. That's never good. Ah, I got to swap to the Priest because the Priest was almost down. Someone grip that Warlock. Get him down from there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Take him out. Send him back to the graveyard. Give me that kill there too. Man, this is a good one for me so, so far. I'm up to 20 killing bows already. <laughs> Warrior's going to go down back here. He's trying to go south. We can't let that happen. It's too much fun right here. We have the high ground and we have the spawn point right next to us. We got some people putting some damage into their base now though. So you can't say we're just trying to farm. We are trying to win the match here. Get those rogues all up in their base. Hey, take their mine too while you're up there. Might as well. Finish off as well. Nope. Oh, almost. Gripped up top. <laughs> oh, that life grip, man. I'm telling you. DK's down. We might have to go in there and just knock them out, man. Obviously, on my hunter, I got bursting shot, and I can use explosive trap to knock them out of there. The priest got knocked out and starting to run back. Hey, if we start wiping them here, then maybe we will have time to go in there. <laughs> Who lusted? Hattie lusted. Okay. Yeah. That was two minutes ago, though. I just noticed that in the chat box. Gotta hide the chat boxes, man, because you never know what kind of crazy crap goes on in there, man. Blizzard has started policing it a little bit better, though, so you can start reporting people for talking trash and being just toxic and all in there. But never know, so I always just keep it covered up. Plus, it advertises all the social media and everything, too. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, add notification bells, too, right? <laughs> oh, let's take out the Paladin. We had somebody trying to go to R-I-B-T. Had to fall back. Ah, oh, I'll take that killing blow. I don't like fighting back here on defense, man. I was getting too many HKs up there with the team fight. <laughs> I got a couple here, though, so it wasn't a complete waste. Now I'm fighting in the field. Another hunter here to take out. Uh, the hunter tries to disengage away. Uses turtle. Wait for turtle to be gone. And we can finish him. I don't have anything left. Finish. Kill shot. Didn't actually get the kill. Finish. They're still fighting here at this choke point, really? <laughs> we have a team that is fighting Belinda. That will just knock them down another 100 points, though. They still have, you know, 283 after that. <laughs> That is a lot of HKs we have to get before this match to end, man. And like I said, we're, what, 18 minutes in? 
Jeez Louise, man. Yeah, this was a long one here. Try to get the Druid down. Druid is down. Death Knight next. They're all pretty clumped up right there. Some of them are down the cliff there. They fell off the hill. I got knocked. Wraithwalk didn't actually take out the Death Knight. They got away. Starting on the Warlock next. There we go. Grip the Warlock in. Someone gave him precog, but it didn't save him. Healer next. The Healer has Bubble in three seconds. Gotta kill him fast. Oh, no. I used something. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's something that's pretty good about having those cooldowns up, but there's just too many if you have them on everything. Probably having them on just for your main target is probably all you'll need. That way, you know, you don't get all that stuff clumped up on the screen like it is right now at the top. You'll just see it on the person that you're targeting. And obviously the little crosshair that is showing up on my target, that is from Wise PvP. Wise PvP was created by Wise a while back, but Wise got into a very bad automobile accident and messed up his hand and lost his two-factor authentication on the phone from what his brother had said on the old CurseForge page. Obviously, I have taken over the add-on. I have reposted it as Wise PvP Dragonflight. We didn't want a piece of work of art for like that just to die. There's no way I could have just let him go into this wasteland, you know, of barren add-ons because that thing is so useful. It's the box down in the bottom right of my corner, too, where you can see there's 39 showing up in there. It shows their names and what guilds their enemies are from. You can click on their name in there, too, to target them as well. But, yeah, that's that crosshair that's on Robo Crew right now, that circle there. It's very nice, man. I get a lot of people in the comments asking about it. <laughs> that is the crosshair from Wise PvP Dragonflight. Still got lots of kills to farm, man. Belinda is finally dead. I'll take another killing blow. Finally, I'm starting to get some more kills. 26. Keep them coming, man. I'll take another one there. <laughs> Keep them coming, man. I need more. Feed me more. I feel like Ryback from WWE. <laughs> Might as well get the healer down. Nope. Someone trank shot that. Ah, I trank shot it. It's gone. Bye bye. Too bad it was only the last few seconds. Finish them. Nice. Got the healer down. Here's another healer. Yeah, buddy. Give me that kill. Just keep gripping those heals in, man. That's all you got to do. Get those healers in. We take them out. Drew is down next. After all the healers are down, there's nothing they can do. We can pretty much single focus anybody down through cooldowns and everything, probably. Birdie's off to the side fighting down the cliff. I guess that's one way to handle it. If you get knocked off down there, just start fighting from down there. <laughs> oh, I got knocked down the hill. Gonna go ahead and use Aspect of the Cheetah to run back. Warrior's gonna go down in the back way out of their healer's element. Yep. And looks like the Paladin ran back to the team fight. Dread Knight Healer got gripped in. I'll take a killing blow somewhere. I don't even know where that one came from. Probably off of, you know, explosive shot somewhere. <laughs> Healer's going to go down now. Got some Death Knights over here. They got quite a few DKs. I guess they're gripping our heels. I don't even know, to be honest. Muck Healer is there. Get a sniper shot, maybe. Take him out. Oh, yes, got him. Another Healer down. This is a lot of HKs to farm, man. The question is, do we have enough gas to push? We are starting to push back a little bit. We don't have to really do much back capping. We have one person sitting IBT right now. The rest of the people that we have behind us are resurrecting at the graveyard to get back to the team fight. Birdie is down. I'll take that killing blow. I'm going to go up top up here, finish the shaman, another KB. And let's see who's the next target. <laughs> Literally just tab target. <laughs> shaman? Maybe? Rapid fire. Yep, there it is. Keep them coming. Sub breath is trying to fall back. Not enough gas to finish that DK. Healer's right here. Don't have sniper shot. They got knocked off instead. Trying to move closer to their graveyard next, I guess, because they are falling back and trying to get out of our range. Sniper shot going up on Hap. Maybe. Come on. Oh, turtle. Now we got to deal with the Paladin. Knock them down the cliff, Kratos. You misspelled it. No K. <laughs> I am a huge God of War fan. That's why I said that. Kratos. Yep. Probably one of the best games I've ever played, to be honest. That is single player for sure. Maswell going to try to take out a healer next. Oh, they got gripped in. 
Should be water the rains. Oh, they had bubble though. <laughs> yeah, you need to watch for that cooldown for sure on the nameplate cooldowns. They are if they have bubble then they might be able to escape. You don't want that to happen. 243 to 619. They've gotten a few kills too. We have their mind now, so at least they're not gaining reinforcements this exact second here. Trying to take down the priest on the clip there. One more hit. Just need one hit. There it is. And I had to jump down the hill to do it, which sucks because that means I have to run back the other way. Up. Oh, tried to tab target the warrior. Got the ram instead. <laughs> this guy's trying to run south. He might make it too. I don't have anything to run back. Oh, he's up there. He's going to start helping the warrior now. Paladin 7. Got feared and stunned and silenced maybe. Warriors back now. Two warriors on the pally. Lots of melee, man. I need to get out of their melee range for sure. Try to put some binding shots down or traps or something. Take down the warriors so you cannot get south. They have kept Ice Blood Graveyard. We're pushing Storm Pike Graveyard finally. Hunters down. We should be able to reclaim Frostwift no problem. Yep. We're good to go. Gotta go check out the mine now. They had two people come out of the mine. Let's get the Demon Hunter first. Paladin's on the upper level. Blur. You're not killing Tawny, though. No way, no how. He's going to switch over to me and still die. <laughs> Paladin runs out of the mine. Okay. We'll fight you outside. Even better. Does he think these two little NPCs might help him? <laughs> no way, man. And looks like defense is clear. We need to reclaim the mine. Stop giving them reinforcements back. Someone put a tap on the aid station. I like that. That might make some fall back too. Mine is ours again. And we got pushed back all the way to Icewing Choke again. <laughs> oh, man. More HKs coming through. Healer next. Dread Knight. Going to go down. Yep. And we need to put some more traps here and knock people down the cliff. Slow them down. Binding shots. Port some in here behind this stump. That would be amazing if someone could get it off right now. <laughs> that was she said. <laughs> Give me that kill there. Warrior's going to go down next. Bladestorming dies. And Paladin's got Shield of Vengeance up. Next Paladin. <laughs> From one Paladin to the next. Come on. Bubble. Druid's down. Shaman's down. Bubble's still up. Tab target, man. Sometimes fails you. <laughs> Sometimes they're the closest one back in range again after you drop some other targets. Paladin can die now. No bubble. There it is. Demon Hunter's going to try and glide her back out of there with his personal glide. Priest was trying to glide her over us. We can't let that happen. Don't let the priest get away. And we got another DK to go down again. Shaman's over here doing chain lightning. Just spamming it too, it looks like. They're not even casting anything else. Literally just spamming Chain Lightning. <laughs> Is that their play? I don't know. I thought they do more, you know, lava bursts and stuff. But kill this Warlock. Fall back to Icewing. Yeah, good luck with that. We have people that take in Stormpike Graveyard, so it's going to be hard to get people to fall back to Icewing after we already have Stormpike tapped early. Everybody that dies now though, will have a longer run back. Granted, it's not that much further back from the aid station, but it is something. We are getting some kills, looting some bodies. Problem is, is we won't be able to make it up there in time to reinforce Stormpike Graveyard, I don't think. It's pretty far. It is a long haul for us, plus the fact that we haven't wiped them yet. If we would have wiped them here in like, you know, 30 seconds, we might have been able to get up there. Like use some dragon fruit or something. I'm completely out of fruit right now. You can see at the bottom of the screen. No wild dragon fruit for me. So healer goes down. Birdie next. Give me that kill. Yep. The kill shot did finally reset. So I guess that was a legitimate kill streak, man. I'm back at seven right now. I've had one death this match. Healer's next. Warrior gets knocked off the cliff and then charges back up. And Paladin's bubbled there. There's no way we're going to make it in time. The people we have at Stormpike Graveyard are wiping right now. Yeah. Oh, man. That sucked. <laughs> suck, suck, suck. Made all that push for nothing. 
Granted, I guess we got another 40 kills out of it almost. Finish Taking down some more. Red Rage next. Finish yep. Finish and Priest. Fight song. Hunter's off to the side. We're chasing him down. Hunter is dead. Best way to get up this way is to go up here. Instead of going south, we're going all the way around again. Taking out a warrior. Lines are under 140 reinforcements. That's why that raid warning comes up on the screen. Lust. Okay. We got Lust going off. Come on. Kano was being attacked. No. <laughs> Kano was going in too deep once again, man. What did we tell you about going in too deep with those alliance, man? <laughs> Warriors down. 126 kills. Man, is this just going to be a farm fest right here? They don't want us to have this graveyard. They do not. It's hard to take, man. I <laughs> take down the Warlock next. Nope, the Warlock's behind the cliff there, behind the hill. I'd like to get Port up on top if we could. Where's our Warlock gateway up top of this hill to the left, man? I just pwned Kratos. The God of War is another HK for me, so. Robo Crew next. Come on. Fixiated, someone did. He got sacrificed. Is gonna might die here close very close yep he's dead he's out of range now his healers were not able to heal him because he definitely went out of their range warrior down next yeah keep him coming man farm city they have their mind right now so they are gaining some reinforcements back but we're getting the same amount because we have our mind someone just took their mind now every 10 seconds or so or th is it 30 seconds where it actually ticks down no, it's 10 seconds now. Once the match has gone over 30 minutes, every 10 seconds, both sides start losing one reinforcement apiece. That's quite fast, though, when you think about it. Let's keep on focus here. See if we can get the Warlock down. No, the Warlock got gripped in. We might be able to get him down. Nope, he teleports back. Obviously, he had his circle back further and just teleported back to it. Check out Trance, maybe? No. Explosive shot off. Not going to do any good, though. Switch targets. They have a lot of people that are all confined in this one area, but I can't get a whole lot of AoE. I tried to get a volley back there, but there's not enough of them right in my LOS. You can shoot through these mountains, though. They still have to be in range, of course. Oh, trying to port again. Back up out of that. <laughs> that add-on there is really good, man. You got to have that, too. It is, what is it called? Shadow Rift GTFO or something like that. <laughs> it's a weak aura, actually. You can find it on Wago.io. Finish up the pallet then. I guess we're going to fall back to the choke point again now. <laughs> Here it is. Back to the choke point. Obviously, we lost some reinforcements on that push. They've gotten almost 200 HKs, man. So they're doing some farming themselves. They don't want us to have that graveyard for whatever reason. They want the match to go on as long as possible. We appreciate that. It's really nice when you find a team that fights back, man. Especially when these get these long matches like this because some of the queue times were very long, especially back in BFA days. You would have a queue for 45 minutes and you didn't want a 10-minute match after you were in queue for that long. Queues are a lot shorter now, but we still enjoy the long matches for sure. Yep. LOL. Wow. <laughs> Come on. Grip some more people in. <laughs> Grip them in, we kill. We need some more grips. Problem is, we only have three DKs. They got to start gripping, though. Get some of them healers up here. There's a priest. Gripped once and dies. Yep, just like that. Keep them coming. Maswell. Sniper shot. It's not going to do any damage, though. Need more hits than that. Pout and bubbles and runs into us just to try and disorient everybody. He got stunned. Pops wings and tried to use freedom to get out. Doesn't make it though. Priest to go down next. Get the healing priest. Got him. And we got a couple more here that are all stacked up. Kratos bubbles and runs. Robo crew needs to go down next. I'll take that killing low. Trance going to go down too. Hey, we can just keep holding here, right? Problem is, as you keep holding here, eventually the people are going to start pushing forward without you anyway. A couple are trying to get south again. 
Warrior's dead here. Uh, does the Pally got anything left for him? Is he going to bop him or anything? Don't know. Wow, he did lose lay on hands, I guess, because the Warrior's back to complete full. <laughs> Powed and bubbled himself. Back to the Warrior. More damage on the Warrior. He's trying to kite out of the darkness there. Now the Pally can die because you got no more bubble. And you're on forbearance. Bye bye Pally. Warrior goes down with the Pally too. See them a lot in the arena, man. Powed in Warrior. <laughs> take another killing blow. A healer here needs to go down. I'll take that one too. Haps back here in the back. Let's see. Use my heal. They got their pets on me. Trying to do damage. Rapid fire. Ah, oh, somebody else sniped the kill, but I did most of the damage. <laughs> Taking down slow. Mage. Rapid fire. Kill shot wasn't there, man. Now that kill shot was actually able to be casted, he got blinked out of there. Hey, I still got the killing bow, though. Happy with that. Demon Hunter down now. Pushing back up here. I guess we only got 17 left to go. Might as well just get up here and finish it right. Checking up top, make sure there was no free kills up there to grab. Druid boys down. Getting on the monk healer with a sniper shot. Sniper and a rapid fire. Man. Oh, they died. Perfect. <laughs> got to get that delayed reaction sometimes from the explosive shot. Seven got gripped in again. Fears everybody, but it broke pretty much immediately for me. Taking out their healer now. They got ten kills left to go. Finish them off, man. Almost done with this match. <laughs> 46 minutes we're into the match. Locke's going to try and teleport out. He gatewayed up to the top, I think. I'm still doing damage. Give me that kill there. Warriors down here. Four more. They have their minds back, so we might get a couple extra. But it's almost over now, finally. <laughs> finally going to get that dub and the conquest. Let's see. Shaman? No, maybe? Might get the shaman. Yes, shaman's dead. Get him. One more hit. And another shaman. Grip him, kill. There it is, man. 53 killing blows, man. It's probably one of my best matches I've had in a while. One death. I need to up my damage, man. But other than that, look at that. Framuth and Spring Valley and Necro all over 100 million healing, man. Blaze at 89. Kano 74. Wow. That's a lot of healing, man. What was the damage looking like on this? Damage on their boomy had 130 million, our boomy had 128 million, and lick for 97 million. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.